Does, is it? Is it like the? Hold on, you gotta get this on recording. What are you doing? What? Oh! Oh, you didn't even drink any. Yet. No, <laughs> just been smelling it. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Well, so we, should we do one at a time? Welcome back. We got. Um, well, yeah, yeah, we got. Sk- we got Skittles drinks. Apparently, they make Skittles in drink <coughs> form now. So he's got he's got an original. I've got a Skittle sour. Uh, the original is like the cherry version. Can I? Can I? Let me let me get yeah, a whiff. Yeah, get a whiff of that shit. <coughs> That's pretty good. I like that one. I like every time now. I think last one of the last times we got together, we were trying new drinks too. So That's, is that nasty? What is it? Oh, it's both bad and kind of good. <laughs> like, the first taste that you taste right. is terrible. This is the original. Yeah, it tastes like fucking cough medicine. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... It tastes like some sort of... Uh, yeah, that tastes like... You know You know what's sad? Is, like, that voodoo... You remember that Mountain Dew voodoo? That tasted more like Skittles than that does. Yeah. That doesn't taste like... I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe unless you mix all the Skittle flavors together. Yeah, maybe. But, yeah, no, it's so weird because, like... Uh, this is a very interesting screen for us to be sitting on here. I'll give us some... Yeah. Yeah, some, some, something to look at. Sorry, we got to... This is also, like, turning into a, a beverage taste test Yeah, channel, we're a right? taste testing channel, all right? All right, here's the sour one. Let's check out the sour. It's got the same same smell. Worse? Better? Oh, that's, that's pungent. Oh, that's some stank right there. Woo. Ugh. That kind of reminds me of like a Gatorade. Or it's, or you know what, hold on. It smells like, it reminds me of like one of those like shitty um, popsicle ice creams you get from an ice cream truck. That's kind of what this one smells like yeah. too. Yeah. Kind of what it tastes like too is one of those like you buy a hundred of them and then you just melted all the reds down and put it in. That's weird. I don't, I don't. I think this one's better than the red one, but still odd, still weird. I don't know what the fuck they're thinking marketing this as a Skittles drink. It doesn't really taste like it. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it kind of tastes like yeah frozen popsicles that yeah are no longer frozen. I would take the sour over the original. Yes, I would too. Um. Anyway, welcome back to this shit. <laughs> For anybody who lives in the U.S. and can get a Skittles drink, we've just tasted it for you. I If I were to put this in a tier list, uh, S being top, D being worst, I'd put this in like a D. Yeah, and this would be like maybe a C. Yeah. Like this isn't that much better, to like be This is probably a mid D. I wouldn't say it's like terrible or anything, but maybe like a high D and that would be like a low C. Yeah, it's a low C for sure. Well, they can't all be winners. So yeah, there's your uh, there's your Skittles. There's your Skittles update. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Come back in three months for more. <laughs> I, I mean, like, no joke, the last time we played this, so we did the same thing. We had that monster, that alcoholic monster. Oh, yeah, that's right. Those were much better than this. Yeah. I don't even like alcohol. Well, that well, the thing of it was is that actually tasted like what it was supposed to be. Yes, like as an actual drink, because I don't like alcohol and I don't like actually energy drinks. I would still give that like a pretty solid C, maybe yeah, even a B. I, I would, like yeah, I would say a high C, low B range. Yeah. I'm feeling a strong delight six. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> of Anthony Fantano. Oh, fuck. Transition. Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, you almost got swarded. I probably have a better weapon for these guys, but I want to level up my buzz blades. Oh, yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, you gotta, you gotta level up your weapon. Oh, shit! Billy, you been checking out any uh, good porn lately? No. <laughs> been nothing, huh? No, uh, you went to up. jail. I know that, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> and like then, you haven't been checking out anybody else's shit. No, saying? really not. Because, like... How low we have fallen to be playing Ratchet and have no porn talk. <laughs> that's what put us on the map. You know, that's the thing is like, <laughs> Shad, he had really good drawings and it was very risque. Oh, it's um, leveled up all the way. I don't want to do that one. And then, like. What is it leveled up? Mr. Fungi? Yeah, okay. Mr. Fungi. I don't really want Mr. Fungi, but okay. And then the drill thingy? Yeah, the drill hound. Yeah. 
Oh, the, Meta the Megatron Collider is leveled up, so we'll get rid of that. Here, Mr. Fungi. Ah! Yeah, but Mr. yeah, Fungi gone. now there's not many artists that like I really that surprises watch. me because I, I I only really you only knew anything though. about Shed just from uh, Sleepy Cabin. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll watch that stuff. I didn't just randomly like come upon him or anything. I'm not really in the uh, the artist space. He came up in a, a video I was watching recently. I forgot what it was about. Might have been. All right, this I don't I don't know how if this is even what it came up in. I don't remember. I think it was somebody else talking about. Like the history of certain shit, and then Shad came up in conversation for a brief moment in the video. But anyway, um, there was, uh, I don't know if you saw it recently, um, there was actually um, police camera footage released about uh, Chris Chan's arrest that happened like a year or oh, two yeah, ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> I felt so bad. I don't know if you watched the whole thing, but there's a part oh, where. I did. There, I did watch it all. You did? I did too. And I'm like, <laughs> I, the I, the part that I like the most that I cringe at the hardest is when they finally get Chris in the car and that oh, and poor he starts cop, talking, yeah, yeah the way talking about like the multiverse <laughs> shit. The, the fucking poor cop is just like uh -huh. subject to listening to this shit yeah. for the duration of the car ride. Because you know he has to pay attention too because <laughs> yeah, any if of it Chris Chan says yeah. anything you know yeah. illegal. And then they can use that against him. So he has to pay attention. And then all he's hearing is just like... Like me, Rosa Chu, yeah, Rosa my Chu. multiple wives, uh, Crystal and Rosa Chu, or whatever the fuck. And then it's like... And I just like this, that poor officer. Oh, I was cringing so hard when I watched it. Holy the other God. part that I cringed at was, um, yeah, I'm sorry about my... Uh, my imaginary. Oh yeah! If you feel anything tugging on your leg, it's my husband. Yeah, or whatever. he's 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 really mad at you guys right now. He's actually trying to fight you. And I'm like, oh, that's really cringe. Yeah, it's super cringe. Yeah. And then those people are just constantly like sitting there. I mean, they filming were, and watching. Yeah, I mean, they were like at least the cops too. Like, were they handled it? I think you know professionally and whatever. But it was just like, yeah, I would be like, oh, they were on such high guard because of those God. people. Yeah, because they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know who they're arresting. Yeah, they don't know the <laughs> the how deep it goes. Yeah, they have no clue. <laughs> oh man, it was great. I think um, I did hear actually at the end of that too that I, I haven't heard anything else about it other than this, but yeah, I guess those charges against Christian were dropped for that. Yeah, so he's he's gonna go free, I believe. He's going back to what he was doing. Do what he was doing, I guess. Just, you know, stay away from his mother. <laughs> yeah, I thought he like said like in recording that he did it, but I don't know. Maybe maybe yeah, it was probably proof. Like, taken out of context. Yeah, something. Maybe it was a text message. I think that one guy that I watched, like I don't, I don't, I haven't seen him recently, but he did that like Chris Chan documentary thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's posted in a bit, but like I think that was one of the last things he covered was the. He's probably working on the next one. Yeah, you know, he's got a. Dude, little, it's it's straight up. <clears throat> it's straight up. Like even I've lost track of it, but like you know I haven't watched it in a while. But it's straight up. He it, it was his goal to make the most comprehensive Chris Chan documentary, and it's it a hundred percent is. Because it's like every, like almost every day is accounted for in this fucking documentary. It's insane. And the guy, and the guy took a long break because he's like, all I've been doing is thinking about fucking Chris Chan. I'm like, that's it. And it's like, yeah, and I agree. I'm like, yeah, make I do. You go crazy. Yeah, it would make you go crazy. I get, I go crazy just from watching enough of it. Like, let alone having to like sit and like read all of the fucking comics and shit. Are you kidding? Yeah, no. Oh, that's no, like a prison I'm not sentence. Going to. I'm not gonna do it. They should get inmates to do that shit, dude. Straight <laughs> yeah. up. Oh my god, you're terrible. God, it was so cringy. Yeah, that uh, the police video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. It's was super cringy, but I. But I was, it. I, I, I laughed. It. Yeah, I laughed watching it too. I thought it was great. <laughs> you can't pay for that kind of entertainment. No, no it just comes natural. <laughs> yeah, it's like. 
<laughs> Here's this batshit insane individual and a bunch of normal ass cops who have no idea what they're dealing with. <laughs> yeah, they don't know who they have just arrested. Yeah. A fucking prolific. No, I, and I totally get it though. Like, you know, if you saw a bunch of like random people watching, like of course there's like, you know, bystanders who are just curious, right? But yeah, like yeah, there's but always there's that. like a ton of people watching that just they know what's going on. Yeah, they they, they hundred percent know this yeah. person, they know yeah. what's going on. And that must be so weird to be like, Oh yeah, there's just a bunch of trolls on the internet. Yeah, but it's like they're not I don't think any of them are trolls, they're all just no, like, they're not, they're just, like they're all people. like chanting for him and shit. <laughs> there there are people who either seriously like him yeah. or or you know or you just like him or morbidly the, you like him for all of the bad like the wrong reasons. Yeah, it's the morbid <laughs> curiosity. Yo man, when you getting back with Megan <laughs> You should draw another comic of Megan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> God, That's I, where you should be going for your porn. It's Chris Chan. God, no. Hell no. <laughs> it's not even good. <laughs> it's all just like fucking egotistical, like... <laughs> yeah. Fucking he sucks his own dick more than anything. Yeah. Yeah, he does. I can't, I can't stomach his stuff because it's no. not good. No, absolutely not. It's absolute trash and everyone knows that <clears throat> Except for Christian, apparently. Yeah, well, yeah. But, I, mean, I want, I want to have a Sonichu necklace. Just well, like that was him. that was the other thing during the fucking video. That's my, that's like, my religion. We, we're gonna need you to take off all your jewelry and stuff, and then he's just like, "Well, you can take everything off, but the Sonichu medallion. That's my religion." Yeah, that's my. That's and then my the guys, and then the guys, just like, I, I don't, don't know if they're gonna let you do that at the station, yeah. but uh, okay. <laughs> It's not a recognized religion, Chris Chan, so it doesn't matter. They will take it off of you. Defeat 50 pests before the poison gas kills you. Okay. I'm just doing these out of obligation. I don't really need these the shit in this, but whatever. Yeah. You know, it gives it a background. This is like, you know... We're talking you know, this... about important things, yeah. and we're having things go on in the background. <laughs> It's like any of those, like, you know, vlogger YouTube people. They just have video game footage on in the background. Greetings, everyone. Here with the, the fucking... Uh, the, the castle. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And feel free to check out my Patreon. On to the video. Helldivers 2 is getting a new update. <laughs> and we're going to find out if it's actually good or not. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's Piles okay. has said and Piles has said that he's gonna do this many things in this many days and we're gonna wait and find out if that ends up being true. Now past records have shown that they are not very uh, reliable when reporting on what they're going to be doing in Helldivers 2. Now players have been very upset over the fact that the flames look like a puff of uh, queefs and puff <laughs> <laughs> of queefs. <laughs> And that the bugs, the chargers are just too strong. So they're working night and day to ruin the game further, more than likely. <laughs> In response, the devs have now decided to nerf their fa the favorite weapon. <laughs> Even though those people weren't complaining about the chargers. They have it's nerfed. A very spiteful move. <laughs> they've also nerfed their Discord, which is really a bold move because now we're getting into the meta game here. All right, now you need to have a certain role just in order to comment, even in general. That's how far they're taking the the the, the silence and the deafness towards the community's problems with the game. That they don't even want us plebs to comment in the general server. And you know what? I agree with that, Tom. I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Where's, where's she going to put that? That's my question. You know where she's going to put it. In her bag? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. We the pop. Me and Billy went to had some good old-fashioned barbecue. And we bit, pretty much did all of our talking about video games uh, um, during that time. Oh. We talked it is about the day after, Witcher. It's the day after Concord's uh, demise. Yeah. <laughs> So, just for reference, the great, uh, the great, the great Concord, Concord, the great Concord drought of 2024. 
We only had it for 12 days. It just it it just shone too high. <laughs> it burned too bright. Yeah, it burned too bright. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, what? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh my god, that mix is so grinding. Turn it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get him. Quit it. <laughs> Ooh. It belongs in a swamp. It belongs in my ass. I just like, I love it when we're talking about a skit from Sven Johnson. It's really funny. You should check it out. I love it when he's like, what do you mean one of those? <laughs> he said it in the most Joel Haver way. <laughs> what do you mean one of those? Yeah, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> one of those. There's no, there's, no, there's no way one of those there's made things. that. <laughs> what do you mean one of those? What's the last one here? Ooh! Get a piece of armor Ooh. that I'm not going to use. It, uh, but it brings her tits out. Well, I've said it plenty of times throughout this playthrough that's lasted like two years. Um, uh, her design is so good that I don't want to change it. Oh, okay. Actually, did I get the PS5 last year? When did I fucking get it? I don't fucking know when you bought your PS5. Or maybe it was 2022? It had to, no, it had to have been 2022. Because I got that was when I got COVID the first time, which was definitely not last year. COVID sucks. Yeah, I got COVID again. Uh, big news as of now is that Melissa and I bought a house, so we're moving pretty soon. But um, uh, <laughs> during that whole time, I think I briefly told you about it. I I had COVID during the whole thing. Like the whole process, mm -hmm. so we went and visited the house and like what did the viewing or whatever, and I had COVID. Like I was at the end of it, like I was at yeah. the tail end of it, but like I was so fucking loopy. Like not even like on meds necessarily. Like yeah, the, I was on medication, but like yeah, but you but were also the, just like, ugh. oh dude, it, like the worst fucking brain fog I think I've ever had in my life, and it was just like. <laughs> Like, I'm present, I'm there, I'm witnessing this house, and I did enjoy it, and then I'm okay. like... But I'm also... But then, like, but then, like when, I, when we left, I was putting my shoes on, and I remember feeling so lightheaded. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> like, it just, you know, that kind of lightheadedness where you're just, like, no longer yeah, physically like, oh there? My yeah. I actually had that... Uh... <clears throat> Uh, a bit this morning when I was I was cutting some uh, oh, you tell me. cutting some bones out of uh, chicken thighs because uh, uh, Anne was gonna make something when she got home and uh, get Mr. Fungi on get the funginator basically yeah I was just chilling there and then, like I, I think my blood pressure dropped or something because I'm like yeah I don't know uh, maybe that happened to me too I don't know but it was like yeah so was, I had to like sit down immediately. And I ate like an Oreo cookie, and everything yeah. was better. Yeah, no, I just so I like yeah mentally, mentally I was mostly there, but just like physically, I felt like I was like outside of my body almost. Yeah. And the whole next day, like I was, I went to work, and maybe I probably shouldn't have. Um, then literally the next day after the viewing, I felt like such dog shit, and I was like just like I, I kind of had like a little bit of a fucking like panic attack meltdown type of thing mm. or I'm just like I'm like I call up Melissa I'm like I can't do this <laughs> like I was like at the time like very much like I am not mentally here enough to buy this house I don't think we should do it until I feel better and then she's like so what we're just not gonna get this house and I'm like I don't know <laughs> And then she's like, "Is this is this how you actually feel, or is this the sickness?" And I'm like, "I had I think I had enough of, like presence of mind to be like, I'm pretty sure it's just the sickness that's making me feel this way." But just in case. But just in case. But no, that we actually ended up still pulling the trigger on that particular house because she's like, "Well, yesterday you loved it." And I'm like, "I know, I th I do like it, <laughs> but I'm just like <laughs> but at this very in, moment in this time, moment I don't." Yeah, in this moment I'm just very unsure of myself because I don't know what the hell is happening so like i yeah like that whole day at work i was just like just like us like just sitting there like not doing anything because i'm like you know just trying to exist so yeah it was shitty it was a bad time 
I do know those days. But, but I had I, I had, always take those days off. When I feel bad, I just lay. Like, I have no. No I, want to go into work. I don't even yeah, try. I, I mean, realistically, I probably should have taken more time off than I did, but whatever. I only took the uh, that one... Fr- I think I tested positive on, like, a Thursday. So, like, the, f- the day after I took off, I'm just like, you know what? I just tested positive last night. I took two tests, and they both came back positive. So I think fucking a co-worker who shall remain unnamed brought it into the fucking office and was coughing the whole time and didn't think to be like you know what maybe I shouldn't fucking be here yeah fucking Stephanie yeah Stephanie fucking bitch I'm trying to think do I even have a Stephanie at my work I don't think I do cause if I if I did have a Stephanie normally I always call them step on me's Oh, yeah. Instead of Stephanie. I want her to step on me. What the fuck is the bomb in here? I don't remember this. Is it like like the cluster bomb type of thing? I thought it was going to be like the grab bomb from the the other games. It's just like the bomb glove almost. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Uh, Okay, cool. Okay, that's kind (laughs) of nice. (laughs) Okay, I'm ready. That looks like something out of fucking Guns of Icarus, man. Yeah. Well, I don't really have that much money, so I don't really know that I want that. But maybe I do. Glove of Doom is pretty sick, actually. I might do Glove of Doom. Glove of Doom. Yeah, let's do Glove of Doom, bro. Only Glove has, of Doom. Only he has two power, though. What? What? Oh, that's fine. Two do you know? Do you know what the Glove of Doom even does, Bill? No. You're about to find out, mother trucker. All right. But I don't want to find out. I'm scared. In the original game, it was called Agents of Doom. Oh. Where's the rhino? I don't remember if this game has the rhino. I'm sure it does, right? It's got a... Where's the next Ratchet game, Insomniac? Stop working on whatever the dumb shit is that you're working on and make another Ratchet game. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. I think that's the dude just walked in front of the yeah, yeah. a second ago. You see that? <coughs> Turns out they were actually working on Concord. Oh, that'd be unfortunate. Okay. So Billy, what are you what have you been playing, bro? <laughs> well, a couple things. Hello. Um I've been playing a couple things. Um you know, I still play Ark here and there with Anne. I've, I've almost debated on trying to get that or like to try that game out again because I didn't really like it but I think I needed somebody like like when you and I played Monster Hunter to kind of like to walk, walk me through, through it yeah but my big hang up with that is that the game is like 120 gigs so yes, I don't huge. really want to download it again um so I've been playing Ark a bit here and there stop the Emperor's Invasion um, right? yeah. after that I've been playing a lot of Mount and Blade Banner Lords 2 oh there is a mod for the game that I've been playing. Oh yeah, that makes the whole game Game of Thrones. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. So I was playing as a half giant from the north. Uh huh. I was born uh, to one of the Manderleys, and then uh, real quick, Billy, who should I should I do Sargasso, which is a planet we've already been to, or should I do the pirate base first? What do you think? Pirate base. You want pirate base first? Yeah, let's do pirate base. Alright, so I'm going to do Sargasso first. Because <laughs> 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 you got to save the pirate part for the, like, that's the better one, right? Yeah. So you got to give, give the viewers some reason to keep watching other than to hear us test drinks and talk <laughs> about porn that we don't look at anymore. <laughs> So you're playing the you're playing this game uh, where you're uh, Game of Thrones man. Yeah, so I was uh, one of the one of the Manderleys, which is uh, one of the houses of the North. Yeah, and I am a half giant, so I'm a oh. huge motherfucker. Like I'm even bigger than uh, the mountain. And that's sick. I saved Rob from the Red Wedding. Okay, that's cool. And got him out of there, so we we arrested Walter Frey. Oh, you arrested him? Yeah, we Arya arrested him. Arya didn't get to kill him this time, no, huh? No, nope. 
Uh, Arya see. actually never went to uh, Essos. Well actually, well, actually, that would make sense if you rescued him there. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh... Sorry. Sorry. Arya never went to Essos. Um, Sansa never got, uh, boltoned. Um, pretty much everyone had a good time. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Mm. Oh, this is good. Uh-huh. I told you. I don't like that. It's very good. Mm. Mm. So yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff didn't happen then. So how well? My question is, with stuff like that, like, did the people who made the mod did they like voice act all that shit then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they just took stuff from the show, or what did they do? Yeah. So they took some lines from the show and just had like an AI version. Say them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, I can see how that would be good, like AI in that con particular context. Yeah, because it's like, okay, you're not going to be able to get the actual actor to come to play for your mod. Yeah, if you're a mod. <clears throat> yeah, it, you know, that was actually one thing. I don't mean to interrupt your mm -hmm. story, but um, that was actually one thing, and I've been telling you obviously a lot about Entropy Zero Two, um, which is a ha that Half Life Two mod. And they're, like, the voice acting in the game is actually really good, and I think it was all done in-house. I mean, they obviously reused some voice acting for certain characters because they could from the original game, right? Yeah, the the, the lines worked, so they're like, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, better. and even then, I mean, like, you, they sound kind of clunky, at, like, in the context that they're in in the game, but you can understand why they just used them the way they were, because oh, it's like, fuck. you're not going to... Oh, you know. Gordon! Well, so like, good to see you well, again. Like, like Judith Mossman is in it, and just some of the ways in which she reacts to what's going on, like, you can tell they're just reusing... Uh, yeah. Which is fine. Which is fine. I get it. I totally yeah, yeah. get it. But there's one character in particular um, that, like, he's like just like a like you see him a couple of times throughout the game. He's not really a major character, but he like he's like a uh, voice guy or like a voice that comes over like the intercom a lot. Like he's a radio or a rebel guy rather. I'm sorry. And like you can tell, and I'm pretty sure in the credits that's totally one of the devs because it sounds he sounds so shitty, <laughs> like comparatively <laughs> to everybody else in the game, his voiceover is so bad. They're like, yeah, yeah, it's whatever. Like he just sounds very fake compared to the rest of them. Like maybe that's the charm; it's fine, but it's just it's just when you listen to it, you'll be able to point it out right away. But so anyway, but yeah, they use the AI kind of voice acting for everything in the yeah. mod then. Yeah, so basically, it, the Mountain Blade games, you normally start up as just your person, and what you're supposed to do is, you know, go out, win some tournaments, um, you can be a trader, you can do whatever you want, basically, uh -huh. but normally you're, you're going to play to get yourself a fiefdom, you know, a castle, a, a town, and then... Yeah. The, let let that kind of grow, and then you'll take over the world or do whatever you want to do with it. It's one of those games. Okay. It, so yeah, like I'm not familiar with it. So is it like an RTS type of thing? Or like, yes, it's it? an RTS. Oh, okay. But it's also a first person and third person. Oh, okay, cool. So you actually play as your person, and then yeah. there are battles. Okay. So you're on a overworld map. Uh huh. You'll walk around. You can go to towns and talk to people. You can trade. You can do whatever you want. Gotcha. Um, and then once you actually talk to people, you can fight them, and it will take you to a almost like a Rome Total War esque, you know, battlefield. You'll put your troops down where you want them. Gotcha. In formations that you want, because you have all. You can put them in different formations. You can make them charge, you know, retreat, all this kind of different stuff. Yeah. And then. Um, And then, uh, basically, you just uh, you start the map, and then you actually go into your person, and you fight as your person. Oh, okay, that's cool. So it's not like not entirely RTS, like for the combat and shit. Yeah. Then okay. Yeah. So you'll actually go in, and you'll start swinging, and you'll you'll shoot the see, bow or whatever you want to see. Do. That's and that's like the beauty then too of like I've I've realized with like mods, like it is like I don't really tend to go out of my way a lot of the time for mods, but like happening upon a few that are like some of them are done. Yeah. Some of them are amazing. That's and awesome. Insane. Like some of them are fucking really good. Others are just like man. That's what I'm talking about. The entry pre zero too. It's like really really well done 
for it being a completely free Half-Life 2 mod. Like, it's insane. Like, they add a lot of interesting ideas, and, like, a lot of the mechanics seem to work pretty well. Like, there's a couple of things that could be better, sure, but, like, you know, overall, like, they spent a lot of time, like, making the story and, like, doing voiceover work, and, like, it it's really, really well made. <laughs> it's just, like, that's insane. And then, you know, same thing, like, we always say with, because uh, it's on Steam. Like, you don't even have to, like, go to, like, Mod DB or anything no, like that. Just it's just on Steam. So it's like it's, click it and let you know, it do its thing. Yeah, and I, and it just kind of a, again testament to Valve. It's just like community made stuff. They're like, yep, we'll put it on Steam. Like you guys work hard on it, and it'll get us traffic. So fuck it. Yeah, there you go. Like they're not making any money from that. No, but still. But they're just like yeah, people playing is. Well, they people might playing. actually now that I think about it, they might make like a small like just a fee to host the game on the on Steam. I think like when people like want to put a game up, you do have to pay money to put, to host it on Steam or something. Um, they, it's uh. Um, I don't know if it's a one-time fee or. A, yeah, it's five hundred dollars. Oh, okay. And then, <clears throat> if your game uh, sells ten thousand copies, they refund you the five hundred dollars. Oh, that's cool. See? Fucking Valve, man. Yeah. Good guy Valve. I mean, sure, they're going to take 30%, but... Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, like, they're the They just easily gave you access the, yeah, to millions yeah, and millions of people. Yeah, they're easily the biggest digital game distribution, like... Yeah, bar like, none. The company by, by a long shot, like... So... But yeah, let me tell you what happened. So I saved Rob. Uh -huh. I got myself an army... I pledged myself to the North. We then uh, we then took out the Boltons and the Freys first. Hell yeah! Did so, you see Ramsey there? I did. I executed him. Yes, <laughs> sick. <laughs> you probably, he he chased me down, and he didn't even get a chance to be a Snow. He's just a fucking dead yeah. Bolton. No, no, he never got to be a Bolton oh, sorry, because I he. How it worked. Because he was uh, I don't remember Bastard Snow. Right, right, right. So, I ended up killing him and Roos. I mean, just fucking killed them both. And then, uh... But Roos was the true heir to the throne. <laughs> no. So what then am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking of Stannis. Barathe yeah, Stannis. Him. Sorry. So Stannis does attack, and the Blackwater happens. He loses... And then he gets uh, more into the Lord of Light, so then like his banners change, right, right. and then he goes to the wall, and I'm not sure what else, what happened to him because he just disappeared. Yeah. So, because I was nowhere near the wall, I, I so I lost track of what happened to him, but I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah. Well, canonically he dies anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't know canonically in the show it does, and right. he does, but in the books he has not died. Um. But yeah, so after that, I went and took River Run and Heron Hall, and then I moved into the south and uh, took Castle Rock. In you're the west. Just, so you're just a force to be fucking reckoned with. Yeah, and you're then like I, I took King's Landing. I was gonna say you're like fucking uh, Daenerys before she even shows up. Yeah. So Daenerys shows up finally. She helped me take King's Landing. Oh, yeah. uh, even though she is, she was neutral to the north. Did she burn it down? No, she, she took it. Okay. <laughs> she took it and actually gave it to Jorah Morma. Okay. So that's his main thing. Well, and then I uh, feel like I feel like that's something. If she didn't like suffer the horrible writing of the show, she probably would have done something like that. Yeah. In the show. So then after after that, basically, I was about to finish the Reach because uh, the Tyrells still, you know aligned with the Lannisters and all that because Renly died. Right, right. And, um... I'm surprised how much of this I remember. Because <laughs> I haven't seen it or thought about it in a long time. It just sticks with you. Well, some of it. I mean, like, yeah, there's, a lot, there's a lot to remember. So. so after I I was just about to finish the Reach, I only had, like, two castles left. I had Old Town and, like, another one. And then uh, Daenerys declared war on us. You bitch. Look. So... She went and she went to uh, take one of my cities, Fair Market, and I was nearby, so I went into battle with her, and mm. she's riding Drogon, mm. uh, but because I'm a half-giant, I have a giant's bow, 
which is, you know, this huge fucking bow, yeah, and right. I shoot her off of Drogo. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't die from it. She only gets unconscious, but I defeat her army. Drogo uh, fucking... Drogon uh, fucking flies away, and then... Uh, after I won the battle, I talked to her and I imprisoned her. I took Drogon for myself. Oh, I took yeah. Dark Sister, her uh, Valerian steel sword, and I took that for myself. <laughs> and then I executed her. That's awesome. So I took uh, I took Daenerys, uh, Daenerys's head off. And uh, can I make this go in a different direction? Or what? Oh, <clears throat> nope. Rob, uh, Rob then basically gave me uh, King's Landing and like almost all of what she had. So I own like half of Westeros, <laughs> along with uh, Rob and uh, his lords. And then uh, we I went back down to go do the Reach, but then I got uh, the White Walkers are now coming. Oh, that's sick! They even put those in there. Yes, yeah. that's cool. You can actually play as a White Walker if you want. Awesome. And uh, you can yeah, you I'm can good. make it exactly however you want to make it. You can go in and basically be like, "All right, you go and attack, and any any troops that you kill will rise up as your next yeah. your your army again." That's sick. They a good Game of Thrones game would have been fucking cool. I know they yeah, tried to make loved. one. I know they tried to make one, but it like didn't. Uh, yeah, they really tried to cut one. You know. Different times. I mean, it right. just didn't work. Well, next time on Chinstrap Traps, we'll figure out this puzzle. We'll figure out this fucking puzzle because I'm like not paying attention. <laughs>